How's it going, people? Or Welcome back. I didn't finish my beer, and the Scientology love letter was kind of disappointing. So I thought I'd read another section of uh, the DNC, get a little further along. Let's see, we're up to section 111, and it's brief, the best kind. All right, let's read the masthead. Revelation given through Joseph Smith the prophet at Salem, Massachusetts. Famous for its witch trials. Uh, August 6th, 1836. The prophet with one of his counselors and two other elders had journeyed from Kirtland, Ohio to Salem, Massachusetts. And at their destination, had entered upon the work of teaching the people from house to house. Sound familiar? And preaching publicly as opportunity presented. See History of the Church, Volume 2, page 463. Directions for further labor, the Lord's assurances as to Zion, which I believe is in... Um, um, in, um, oh boy, it's in Missouri. <laughs> yeah, didn't know that, did you? Maybe you did. All right. One, I, the Lord your God, am not displeased with your coming this day with your coming this journey, notwithstanding your follies. Okay, two. I have much treasure in this city for you. For the benefit of Zion and many people in this city whom I will gather out in due time for the benefit of Zion through your instrumentality. Three. Therefore, it is expedient, one of his favorite words, uh, that you should form acquaintance with men in this city, as you shall be led and as it shall be given you. Four. And it shall come to pass... One of his favorite phrases. Uh, in due time that I will give this city into your hands. Really? Salem, Massachusetts. Okay. When is that going to happen? <sighs> that you shall have power over it. Insomuch that they shall not... Discover your secret parts and its wealth pertaining to gold and silver shall be yours. Five, concern not yourselves about your debts, for I will give you power to pay them. Are you going to like throw some fishing nets out and pull a bunch of fish with? coins in their bellies or <laughs> six concern not yourselves about Zion for I will deal mercifully with her and that's yeah that didn't happen seven tarry in this place and in the regions round about. Eight. And the place where it is my will that you shall tarry, for the main shall be signalized unto you by the peace and power of my spirit that shall flow into you. <coughs> Nine. This place you may obtain by hire, 
and inquired diligently concerning the more ancient inhabitants and founders of the city. Yeah, go after those old people and the poor people and the desperate people. Ten, for there are more treasures than one for you in this city. Eleven, therefore be ye as wise as serpents, and yet without sin. And I will order all things for your good as fast as ye are able to receive them. Amen. That's it for uh, section 111. I think it, um, I think it paints a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, clear picture of uh, just how uh, uh, altruistic they were, looking for the treasures and gaining power over the community, which they never did. Salem, Massachusetts. I'm not sure that's a really big Mormon hub. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Maybe you even learned something and you'll share that with me. Stay tuned. I will finish this book by hook or by crook. No matter how painful it might be. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having, because I want you to. And that's reason enough. Bye.